have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, to a tree that I've been wanting to put a tree stand in for over a year. The first time I ever came down here, I thought it was gorgeous. Um, me and Mike, the mullet man, we rattled up a few bucks around here last year, but always wanted to have a tree stand where we could come in here, hunt hogs, and get these deer that are passing through. This area is sort of like a bedding area and just a pass through between uh, different feeders and parts of the property and it's like a good cool midday spot this tree behind me right here it's a big elm tree and then right over here we've got a feeder it doesn't work but um, I've put a camera up here before I captured some pictures of pigs and a couple of just really big bucks so we're gonna have to do some work here in the tree do some limbing but uh, around deer camp this place has been here like since the 70s there's there's stuff everywhere for um you know building blinds and just tools and uh the guys i'm on this lease with they uh they're great at fabricating with steel and stuff like that lots of tools so it's great we have lots of random stuff hanging around so i've got i've got a piece of a ladder stand right here i've got a uh i've got a little little tree stand that I got probably two years ago and we're gonna try to makeshift something together and we're gonna corn it and we're gonna see if we can get any passer throughs um, I don't know I just love the spot so this is tactic this is this is going to more aggressive hunting tactics for bucks given that the rut is kicking off and we're gonna see a lot of deer moving I'm gonna try to stay safe I'm by myself right now hopefully I don't fall out of this tree but Let's make something happen. Let's build something. Good sketchy tree stand. I'm probably gonna have to wear a harness in this one. It's pretty, pretty sketchy, but I like it, guys. It looks good. Angle looks good. There's a little bit of lane clearing I gotta do. Just one tree, but it's looking pretty minty. afternoon getting all the feeders full things are looking good uh, we got a big group of guys here everyone's sitting in different spots but I'm heading to one spot I want to kill the buck there so we're going in a little early we're gonna do a little rattling a little grunting and uh, see if we can get a big buck man all right y'all the time has finally come. I have been wanting to hunt this this area from a stand or a blind for over a year. The first time I saw it, I was just flipping out, thought it looked so awesome. And it is actually right 
behind the spot that my dad got his first buck last year. Place that has a ton of bucks crawling on it. I actually went back and looked at some camera pictures before we got out here and there's just a lot of good bucks a couple of trophies running around and i think this is their little haven areas where they come bed down where they do a lot of moving tons of rubs tons of scrapes around here so we are in we're in the thick of it taking the bow obviously we're just going to be archery hunting out of the tree and there's turkeys running around here too we got fall turkey season and uh, i call the spot turkey bacon for a reason because i see a ton of pigs in here it's beautiful for turkeys see I just love this area if you can't tell so I'm gonna go just put a jacket on throw on the bino harness it's still hot it's like in the 60s right now and my lanes are pretty tight so I am gonna take some corn there's nothing uh, there's nothing really getting on this corn yet because it's so new but still just in case um, I'm gonna take something i'm gonna fill something with some corn and just put it out like in a lane that i can get a shot at so let's grab the pack let's get up there all right we just got up here on my way in here a buck heard me coming and ran out into the road like to check me out so got some potential for some rattling activity the spot looks awesome
Guys, this is insane. This feels like a video game. <laughs> These bugs just, just keep going back and forth and back and forth. I just keep rattling them back in. Our feeder is about to go off, and I just heard some turkeys too.
Well, um, if any of y'all are archery hunters, you probably already know what I'm about to say, but um, I can't find the deer. It's a shot I've practiced a thousand times. Shot plenty of animals right there. Um, I don't even think the deer ducked. It was just one of those weird things. I, I shot a little high. The angle coming down, uh, the exit wound, <sighs> definitely got some meat. May have uh, clipped along. Um, I watched the deer run off and ran into a fence, looked discombobulated, ran a circle around me. It uh, ran into a fence, it crashed into another bush or tree. I thought it was done right there, and then I heard him get up, and I heard him kind of get up and fall, get up and fall. I don't know if I got some of his spine, I don't know if I clipped the lung. I found a little bit of blood by the fence, where I remember looking over and seeing that exit wound, but that's, that's a clean arrow, guys. Pretty daggum clean. So what was uh and still is the best um best hour sitting in a tree buck hunting for me i had bucks all around me i was rattling them in it was amazing got a nice mature buck trophy buck for out here to come out get close within range saw them fight it was incredible i was i was almost in tears after i shot that deer because it was like the most perfect buck hunting experience that I've ever had um, and now I'm faced with this so 
like I don't even, I don't even feel like filming this or talking about it, but this is archery hunting. If any of y'all get into it, um, this is you will go through this at some point. Hopefully, it's not on a trophy buck. Like I said, this is a shot I've made in my backyard a thousand times. Uh, I think I took it for granted. And even standing up, adding a few more feet to that angle, just increased that high trajectory. And I should have, I should have just aimed for the heart, like I tell myself all the time at that range. Because if you miss high, you're hitting long. But I just, I just felt sure of it. So this is um, pretty much going to do it for me for my archery whitetail season, guys. <laughs> I really hate to sign it off like this, but tomorrow's another day. I'm filming another video out here. I'll let you guys know what happens. I'm not not deer hunting. I'm going to go duck hunting, and I still thank the Lord for what I got to experience tonight, but um, that, was my, that was my mistake. Wounding an animal is, is really one of the worst feelings in, uh, in the outdoor sport if you want to call that that um i'm not gonna sleep good tonight and no one should uh no one should feel good after that this one really stinks guys um i'm gonna sh i show it all anyways uh just because it's a real experience and i know some of you have gone through it or will go through it and uh anyway i'm just sharing it with you so any positive messages I would appreciate down below. Uh, I'm already going to be harder on myself than any of you guys can be, so don't worry about leaving a negative comment. Uh, thank you guys for being here for all my videos, the good and the bad and the ugly, and I will see you on another day in the outdoors later. Thank you.